the bodies were found in a container in Fairfax County. Could you describe what that container was? And can you give us any background on Robinson? And not much is known about him at this it, point. It was a large plastic container, and like Major O'Carroll described, uh, adjacent to the container where we found the remains of our two victims was a shopping cart. So uh, probably not remarkable to serial killers going back many years in many other places across the country, uh, a remarkable absence of a criminal history, a remarkable absence. Um, so that's why we're going to need help from family, friends, associates, employers, neighbors, uh, anyone who can shed a little bit of light on, on Anthony Robinson's uh, profile. Do you know what he did uh, for work or anything like that? I think he was pretty transient. I think he had many, many jobs over the years. Uh, but, but again, uh, that, that transient nature is going to, or has rather, prompted us to figure out where he's been over the last several years. And this, like you said, this could go back. Uh, you know, we're, we're going into this wide open, uh, clear-minded, open eyes to see how far back and how many victims he may be responsible for. The dating apps is a, is a lead. One last question. With the dating apps as a lead, uh, are you able to identify other names that you're going to follow up, and if you could give us a sense of how many names that might be. Yes, uh, absolutely. We, that's why I said we have a lot of work to do. Uh, there's a lot of digital evidence in, in this case, uh, a lot of search warrants uh, that have and will be written. Uh, but let me just give you a, a, a time frame. Uh, an autopsy is underway today. Uh, this case is still active uh, to uncover the, you know, the you know the you know the two uh, two remains in the one container. Um, uh, has had as busy yesterday and today. It's a tragedy. You know, I see you kind of shaking your head, and I agree. This case has a shake in our head. Why? Because uh, uh, the victims did nothing wrong. Didn't have to happen, um, but justice will prevail. So we have a lot of work to do, and I do think from the video surveillance that we found, from the, the digital uh, um, uh, footprint that has been left uh, by uh, at least one of our victims and the suspect, uh, this case is falling together uh, to hold that offender accountable. And are you releasing some of that video evidence so the public can help in the case? So we have released uh, the suspect's or the arrestee's photo. Uh, and as the chief said, uh, when we did look at his criminal history, when we started doing our work up, uh, yeah, it was absent. Actually, the only thing that showed was the four charges in Harrisonburg, the two murders and the felony disposal of human remains. Uh, so we will locate every step that Mr. Robinson took because he interacted with, with people. We know he's killed some of them. Uh, and there might have been some that escaped uh, or ran across him and have information. So we are working backwards. We've added additional team members from Fairfax, but this is a multi-jurisdictional case that